Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. Hello and welcome to this episode of Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. My name is Sarah. And my name is Jonathan. And today in the podcast, we're hopping into the car, taking the top down, and exploring some of the world's most spectacular open-top road trips. Uh, there is nothing like driving with the top down. Um, <laughs> I remember one time I uh, flew home and I treated myself, because it was the summer, to renting a convertible. And I didn't tell my my mom or my grandmother that uh, that I'd rented a convertible. So I come into the driveway with the top down, and my mom and my grandmother are just like, wow, that's super cool. And uh, I remember the next day I went shopping with my grandmother, and she wore this really cool headscarf and her sunglasses, and she looked like Aww. straight out of the movie Thelma and Louise. It's really sweet. Oh, my God. That sounds adorable. <laughs> she must have been so thrilled. To be driving around with you. Oh, my oh yeah, goodness. she still talks about it to this day. <laughs> oh, Jonathan, you're a very good grandson. Oh, I can thank tell. You. I can tell. Thank you. <laughs> well, today, everyone, we're going to be discovering some natural beauties that should not be missed if you have a convertible and you can take a beautiful ride. So here are our convertible road trips to get you dreaming. Yes. So we're going to start all the way down under in Australia and the Great Ocean Road. Now, this 240-kilometer drive, about 150 miles, it starts from the city of Melbourne and ends at the resort of Torquay. This road trip, Jonathan, is full of lush rainforests. There are cool surf spots. There's waterfalls. And there's so many picturesque seaside locations. Oh, wow. And, you know, I've actually been there, and I can tell you that, yeah, um, I did this drive, like, ages and ages ago. Whoa. Um, One thing that you definitely need to check out is there are these stunning limestone formations. They're called the Twelve Apostles. I mean, there are actually not 12 of them. There are fewer left over. There are these rock formations in Port Campbell National Park, and they were actually formed by erosion. So... You know, the harsh weather conditions from the Southern Ocean gradually eroded the soft limestone and it formed these caves in the cliffs and then they became arches. And when those arches collapsed, um, that's how the 12 apostles came to be. They're they're like 50 meters high. It's like 160 feet. It's huge. And it's really breathtaking. So for sure, it's a great spot to get actually out of the car and just take some time to enjoy the scenery and take some some photos. I mean, I still I still look back on that trip. It was amazing. Really wow. worth it. Really worth oh, it. Oh, it sounds breathtaking. And I've heard so much about the 12 Apostles, so it's so cool mm-hmm. that you've been there. Yeah, it's iconic. It really is. Wow. Awesome. Well, that's a great way to start the uh, the podcast. Everything's mm-hmm. downhill from here. <laughs> nah, nah. We have a r- bunch of really good ones. Exactly. So another road trip that will most definitely take your breath away as well due to its curves is in Romania. Now, this road trip reaches an altitude of 2,042 meters or 6,700 feet in the, get ready for it, Transfegerasan. I hope I'm saying it right. This is one of the highest paved mountain pass routes in the Carpathian Range. Now, this road trip, it's about 100 kilometers or 62 miles long, and it winds through the mountains with views of glacier-fed Balia Lake and the nearby Balia Waterfall. Lush greenery is mixed in there with clear blue skies. Ah, This road trip in Romania, it definitely needs to be enjoyed with the top down. Yeah, I've only seen photos of it. I've not been there yet, but it does really look amazing. Yeah. Okay, for our next convertible road trip, we're going to stay in Europe, but this time we're going to go all the way up north to Norway for our third adventure. And this eight-kilometer or five-mile-long Atlantic road has been called one of the most beautiful automobile routes in the world. Wow. It is a much shorter trip than the ones we've mentioned before, Jonathan, but it is so worth it. And one highlight is what's called the Storse Sundet Bridge. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But, I mean, I've seen the pictures only. You really do have to see it to believe it. It's... Considered Norway's construction project of the century. 
and it traces a slalom-like route across coastal areas and heartlands all the way up to bare hilltops. It truly is a sight to be seen. Wow, it sounds beautiful. I mean, even though it's a short route, you'd be stopping every few minutes just to get out and take in those amazing views, right? Definitely. Wow, stunning. All right, number four on our list is all the way in Abu Dhabi. Now, don't be too confident with this road trip. I must admit, some have called it a wolf in sheep's clothing. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, despite a perfect asphalt and whitewashed concrete blocks at the edges, the actual way to the summit of this 1,350 meter or 4,500 feet high mountain Jebel Hafit, I hope I'm saying that correctly, this is a driving challenge. It's really tricky to get up there. So this route covers just under 12 kilometers or seven miles in a series of 60 bends. That's oh my right. Oh God, 60? 60 bends. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so be careful on those curves. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you and your car are up for this challenge. And when you do get to the top, you are rewarded with the most magnificent view. So it is definitely worth the winding drive up to the top to check out that oh, view. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm feeling a bit dizzy just thinking about <laughs> 60 bends. So got to be careful that you don't get motion sickness as exactly. you're on your way there. We don't Not for the faint hearted, for sure. No. For sure. Okay, next on our list, number five, uh, that takes us to New Zealand with a sweeping valley and towering peaks and jagged crags and lush rainforests. You know, it's no wonder that Lord of the Rings was filmed here on location. Mm. It is so, so gorgeous. And every stage of the nearly 120 kilometer or 75 mile long Milford Road from Te Anau to Milford Sound has a touch of adventure. So, you know, if I'm lucky and I'm doing this road trip, I might run into Frodo and Sam along the way. Ah, oh, Jonathan, come on. <laughs> it is only a movie, right? Like, you know it's not real. Right, right. You know of course, that, right? of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's hop back into our convertible and plop ourselves down in the United States. The Florida Keys, to be exact. Now, the Overseas Highway, this highway links the 40 islands of the Florida Keys all together. It's a whopping 205 kilometer or 125 mile long drive. This idyllic route, it leads to the cosmopolitan resort of Key West, where world famous literary figures like Tennessee William and Truman Capote and Ernest Hemingway, they all lived and worked and just created some amazing literary works. I mean, just imagine coasting over that sea between those islands, the open well, road. Well, I actually don't have to. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to imagine it, Jonathan. I've actually done it. What? I mean, yeah, 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 I've, I've done it. I've d done that drive. And that open road and the turquoise sea underneath the blue sky, I mean, it was beautiful. But unfortunately, on the way there, when we did that drive, it started raining. Oh, no. And it was really windy. And that could get a bit... You know, you know, a bit, a bit scary. Yeah, you know, sure. when you just hear the wind and all you see all around you is the sea, and you just have your car under on that bridge. It it even kind of feels like you're flying, wow. like in the sky, because there's sections where you hardly see anything except the the sky and the sea. But no worries, we did make it there safely, uh, so it was all good, and it was so worth it. And Key West is a great place, and. The drive back was super sunny, but it's such a worthwhile drive. Really, really recommend it. Mm, beautiful. And as always, safety first. Of course, of course. Mm. Well, Jonathan, needless to say, the good life would not be complete without the Dolce Vita in Italy. Oh, my goodness. You can't get enough of it, can you? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I love Italy, too. So our seventh open air road trip takes us t up to the Stelvio Pass in Italy, which we also mentioned on our bucket list for car enthusiast episode. So in case you missed that one, do go back and listen to that. So you see, we really love this place. Yes. And there's a good reason for that at an altitude of 2,757 meters, which is about 9,000 feet, the Stelvio Pass is one of the highest paved roads across the Alps. 
Now, this high mountain pass connects Bormio and Lombardy with the provinces of Trentino and Alto Adige. And on the winding northeastern approach from the village of Prato, the 25 kilometer or 15 mile long, steep, and narrow road has 48 bends. Wow. So be warned. This will be a challenge for cars and drivers alike. So please make sure that you keep your eyes on the road and do drive safely. Mm. But once uh, the winding part of the Stelvio Pass smooths out a bit more, then ah, feel free to enjoy the wind in your hair. <laughs> Sounds perfect. And as always, safety first. Yes, of course. <laughs> and, you know, as we all know, every journey must come to an end sometime. But not just yet. We've got one more convertible road trip that will knock your socks off. And this one is in South Africa. So the 10 kilometer or six mile long Chapman's Peak Drive, which is west of Cape Town, it is spectacular. It's cut into the massive rock and it actually connects the towns of Hoot Bay and Nordhoek, I hope I'm saying this right, as part of the Table Mountain National Park. Now, on one side, you have this terracotta colored cliffs that just reach up to the sky. And on the other side, you have this crystal clear blue ocean crashing below you, a journey that is meant to be enjoyed with the top down. It sounds stunning, Jonathan. You know, I have to say, I mean, I did get to experience some of the drives that we've talked about, but this one, I have not, and I am yet to visit South Africa, so that is definitely going on my dream list of places I definitely want to try mm, to go to. Amazing. I think the, the one that you said in the beginning in uh, Australia with the 12 Apostles, that's mm -hmm. been on my bucket list for a really long time, and knowing that you've done it has inspired me to uh, check it out when I'm down there. You should. Definitely <laughs> worth it. But I think all of these places sound amazing yes. and are worth visiting. Most definitely. Ah, we can dream. We can dream. <laughs> so, everyone, thanks for listening to this week's episode of Changing Lanes. And if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure that you subscribe to our podcast for future episodes. And to dive deeper into all things BMW, head on over to BMW.com to learn more. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sarah. And this has been Changing Lanes. We'll see you again soon.